Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Thank you. All right, guys. Taking care of those kids and did right by them. That's awesome. Happy Father's Day. One more time. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Yay! All right. <laughs> God is good yeah, all, the time. all the time. He's, uh, he's uh, like I was saying this morning, and I'll probably say it until Jesus comes or I go to be with Jesus, that God is good. Amen. Amen. Every good and perfect gift comes from Him, and He is our Heavenly Father, and we need to make known He wants to bless us. Is it all about being blessed? No, it's about the blessing, and that's Jesus. Amen. We lift the Amen. we lift up the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We lift him up every time we're in church. We 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 magnify the name of Jesus. We give thanks to the name of Jesus. We praise him for what he has done two thousand years ago, paying the price for our sins, the penalty of sin that uh ruled the world 2,000 years ago, Jesus came and set the captives free. Praise so we could all God. be free today. You can know the truth, and that truth can set you free. And here in this church, we, we preach the truth, the, only the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. <laughs> and that's the Word of God, and that's Jesus. It's all wrapped up in Jesus. Oh, you're talking too much about Jesus. Well, that's what church is all about. Yeah. All right? Yeah. And, yeah. It's all about him. We, you repeat yourself. Well, that's the gospel. It's the good news. Amen. It always makes you feel good. Yes, amen. So if it makes you feel good, you might as well just keep hearing it, living it, doing it, breathing it, meditating on it, and it changes you, and then changes the pe people around you, and you just walk as Christ walked. The Bible says these works that I do. Jesus said it. John chapter 14 verse 12 these works that I do you shall do and greater works shall you do amen you amen. can do what Jesus did because you know Jesus and Jesus is in you and you will walk like he did and walk and you can talk like him what did he what was he how did he talk he had he had he had the gospel the good news the only people he was rough on were the religious people and uh but everybody else he reached out with a hand of love and compassion and mercy and let this church and let every voice that we have in this church, every voice that's listening to my voice, may your voice be just a voice of God's mercy and compassion and love and kindness. Because in the last days, these days, it's it's not about how much you know, it's about who you know. Yes, sir. A amen. It's amen. Time, and it's time we let that love and compassion. Well, what about faith? Well, faith is driven by love. Faith works by love. Faith is driven. I know I'm going to continue to drive that home. you got to let all the anger, all the bitterness, all the frustration, all the irritation, all the things that just irritate you. you got to let them go. And you got to let the love of Jesus flow and maybe not talk so much. <laughs> say things. What, say what's on your mind. Don't say what's on your mind. Say what's flowing from your heart. And that should be the love and compassion of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Uh, what do you have to praise the Lord about today? And I thank you for all the prayers for my eyes. I hardly had any pain at all oh, for my one eye. Anyway. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just going to take time because the cataract was so thick. But I, I, I didn't hardly have any pain at all. Oh, that's wonderful. That's that's awesome. awesome. God answers prayer. Yeah. Yes, he does. Peggy. Yeah, well, uh, I thank the Lord for this church and the people in it. And especially yesterday, because uh, <laughs> the cows got into our water tank and <gasps> busted all the plumbing, and mm -hmm. we lost all of our water. And uh, I called several people that I know are talented to do it, I and I got a hold of Anthony. I know Anthony. That's and I got a hold of Anthony. Well, you know, how many people, a small church like this, mm -hmm. there's people in here that can handle it. 
Yeah. Not, and not in every church, even big churches, you don't right. find that. So I think we're very blessed with that, Absolutely. those kind of people. Yeah. But anyway, Anthony and the family come out, and he's taking care of it. I was almost finished. It was, I guess we didn't pick up one part that was necessary. It was on us, not on him. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, I'm just thankful. And we had a good time with Natalie yeah. and the kids. And uh, yeah, so it was fun. Praise, it was cool. Praise God. Worked out good. I'm thankful for Anthony and the family, Natalie and the kids. Yeah, that's fantastic. Well, especially on Father's Day, well, Father's Day weekend, and he, and, the, yeah. and they're still willing to come out today to finish it up. And I'm going, this is Father's Day weekend. He's going to spend his Father's Day working on our plumbing. Oh, that's, oh, that's a real sacrifice, as far as I'm concerned. Right, and I said that's that's the way Father's Day is, is spent. It's working. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> Anybody else? Oh, I'm sorry, did you had some that says anybody else praise the Lord? Cindy. I praise the Lord that I got to see my <laughs> grandson play whatever it is, baseball on Wednesday. That's the oldest one. And the youngest one I got to see play flag football on Friday. I didn't get to see Keely. Um. <laughs> But it you was, had a good time. I had her during the day. Oh, okay. So, anyway, I got to see my grandkids this week. It was fun. That's awesome. Yes. And hey, I got Allie. to, I got to. Uh, Allie. How do I put this? I got to Allie. figure out what to give fathers, and it's you guys are going to be shocked because <laughs> it's really different, and but. It was really a joy to do it and to figure out. And without Katie's help, I probably wouldn't have gotten it done. And we had graduation today too. Oh, oh wow. all right, oh, wow. that's awesome. Yeah, we had two graduates, Katie yeah. and Eden. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's you. Yeah. 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 What'd you say? This guy graduated too. Oh, all right. Oh, all right. All right. Anybody, any more praise reports? I have another one, but if somebody else doesn't, let them go first. Okay, Heather, what do you got to say? Um, I'm glad that um, God, it's Father's Day and I'm going to Father's Day to celebrate Father's Day. Yes. This, this is kind of a praise and it's also just something I'd like to share. But um, our grandson, our youngest grandson, is running, I think he's almost finished, 100 miles. 100 miles. He's done all the others before. He's never run 100. He At the 50 mile mark, he, just before the 50 mile mark, I guess he hit a storm. This is being done in Colorado. He hit a storm. So he's soaking wet which means his shoes got soaking wet. Yeah. Now he's got blisters at the 50 mile mark. Oh. oh my goodness. The last I heard he was at the 90. And he was supposed to finish by 10, but they said he's running a little slower for some reason. <laughs> oh yeah, for why. some reason. But he's, yeah. still, he's still going through it. But what impressed me the most, I guess too, is not just his, his deal. His brother said, well, I'll join you somewhere along and run 10 miles with you, which he did. Yeah. Uh, but when he saw the condition of his brother, he ran the rest of the way. He wasn't even in training. Mm. Oh my wow. God! Wow. And it just reminded me how Jesus wow. does that mm -hmm. for us. It does that. Mm -hmm. You know, he's not only our savior; he is our brother. But he's always there. Mm -hmm. He's always he's running through the trials of our life, and it just reminded me of that right away. I just mm -hmm. I just felt so blessed by mm -hmm. the whole thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, that's, that's great. That's yeah. Awesome. Anyway. So yeah, that's, that's a good praise yeah. report. Yeah. I was just going to praise God that my earthly father um, became a Christian before he passed yeah. away. It was very late in life, but um, I just thank God that he just kept holding on to him and, and working with him. And, and uh, mm -hmm. We used to talk yeah. about how he was riding the hills of heaven yeah. you know, with his friends. Mm -hmm. Yep. Amen. Amen. <laughs> yeah. So just praise God for that. Mm -hmm. Nicole. 
Yeah, I praise God for all the dads here and yes. for all their hard work and their dedication to their families and for my dad um, coming out for Eden's graduation and today he's installing or fix, remodeling a bathroom for my uncle's uh, mother-in-law, which mm. I think is mm. pretty wow. cool. Yeah. All right. Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> Yeah, and I praise the Lord for we know who did it. The yard. It looks fabulous. Oh, it really yes. does. Oh, we noticed yes. that as soon as we pulled up oh, yes, the yes, yes. Yeah. And turning on the water has worked a miracle. The grass is green. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but anyway, I it's wonderful. And thank yes, you. thank you, Jimmy. Yes. And I think somebody came in after I did it and then tidied it. And uh, yeah, I think you didn't so. edge the lawn. I edged it, but it looked like a lawnmower hit it. But I mean, uh, it looks, yeah. It looks really nice. All right. Well, happy Father's Day, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, all right. Well, praise God. Your life is on a solid rock. If it's on, G your life is on a, on a solid, solid foundation. If it's built upon the precepts. And the words of Jesus. Amen. So that's Amen. what I pray to get across today. That you, 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 God wants you blessed. You will be blessed. You're going to have hard times, but if you keep Jesus first place in your life, you cannot go wrong. You cannot go wrong through the uh, discouragement, through the hard times, through the through the trials and tribulations. You go through the you go through the water, you won't drown. You go through the fire, you won't be burned. You go through, you will go through things. But if you keep Jesus first place in your life, those storms in life may blow, but you, your house will not fall. You may, you may bend, but you're not going to break. Amen. Because there's someone on the inside of you that cannot be destroyed. That cannot. You are of God's little children because greater is he is than you, that he is in the world. The world, you you have the power within you and nothing can prevail against you because the greater one, that, that incorruptible seed, that, that the word that liveth, liveth and abideth forever is in you. You cannot be stopped. Mm -hmm. You cannot be conquered. Why? Because you're more than a conqueror through Jesus Christ. If Jesus is inside you, you are Jesus is in you, you are a part of the family of God. You cannot be stopped. If God is for you, no one in this world they can come up against you, but they'll be stopped. The enemy may come in one way, but he's gonna flee seven. Why? Because you're anointed. You are blessed. You're un you're under the new covenant and it's sealed by the blood of Jesus. Mm -hmm. You are a king's kid. You are highly favored of the Lord. You are empowered. You're blessed. Amen. You're, you're someone to be listened to because you have something to say. And it's a word that's on, the, on, the, uh, on, on your lips and in your heart. It's, it's Jesus. It's Jesus himself communicated through you by the power of the Holy Spirit. You are empowered. You are a, you, you are a success. You, you're not you're not a nobody. You are a somebody. If you were the only person on this world, Jesus would have came and died for you. You're that important to God. Amen. Amen. And whatever you're believing for today, whatever you're going through, believing God for, God wants it just as much as you do. He wants to bring to pass whatever you're believing for. So I encourage you today. Hold fast to the promises of God. Amen? Amen. Hold fast to what he's, he's uh, already given, given you. Because today, today and each and every day, whether you feel like it or not, you are more than a conqueror through Christ. You are victorious. No matter if, if you have a good day, you have a bad day, you have a, your ups and your downs, you have, you're on the mountaintop one day, maybe you're in the valley the next, no matter what. The thing that always stays the same is what God says about you. Amen? Amen. You're 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 not a part you're not a part of the frozen chosen. <laughs> you are chosen and you're on fire with the very life and breath of God. 
inside you. You are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Come on. Yeah, that's what it says it in the Word. It says it in the Word. You are a temple, a temple of the Most High God. You have the power and ability in you to conquer anything you face in this life. It's, it comes down to what you believe and what you believe with your heart and what you choose to speak with those your 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 voice what is your voice gonna say today is your voice going to is your voice going to talk about how defeated you are how depressed you are how discouraged you are how things doesn't look like it's gonna work out or are you gonna raise your voice on high and declare the very promises of God are you gonna or are you are you going to declare how big the mountain is compared to God? Or are you going to declare how big your God is compared to your mountain and your problems? Mm -hmm. What are you going to do today? Are you, are, you, are you going to let your voice ring out ring out today in, uh, in uh, power and authority and declare that you are victorious? Or are you going to buy it? Are, or, or are you going to buy the lies of the enemy that they tries to feed you during the week, or maybe even while you sit in church? Are you going to are you going to make a decision to cast them down, cast them away, and declare and say what God says about you? I just did. I just told you what God. Are you going to start saying that about yourself? Or are you or do you fall do you find yourself falling fall following or falling into kind of ruts in your life where you're either down on yourself or you're down on people or you're saying negative things do you ever find yourself doing that sometimes yeah. Trying to. that's why you come into church because we we're all here working together connected in jesus in love and and sometimes it, the Bible says don't forsake the gathering together the brethren so you can, why? You can encourage one another and snap people out of those ruts they get into. So if you're in a rut today, I'm going to snap you out of it. <laughs> and I want to remind you how powerful and anointed and, and precious and, and uh, favor, how much favor you have before God. And you have power. And quit speaking the negative say what Jesus says about you. When the enemy comes in and tries to uh, push you down, declare what Jesus said about you. Declare what God said about you. <clears throat> in uh, Matthew chapter 4, um, it's right after when Jesus, John the Baptist um, uh, baptized Jesus, and John said, I, I should be baptized with you, and Jesus said, no, let the, let the I'm paraphrasing. Let the scriptures be fulfilled. And what happened? John baptized uh, Jesus. And he came out. And the clouds opened up. And this is my beloved son. In whom I'm well pleased. And then you saw a dove, right? Mm -hmm. Amazing. Fantastic. Confirming who Jesus was. And then what happened to Jesus right after that? What happened? It says in Matthew chapter 4. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, let's say you get saved, you get born again. Or you even get blessed by God. And then the, it's not the devil. The devil didn't leave him, lead him into the wilderness. It says the Holy Spirit led him into the wilderness. Led him into, um, sometimes, just like the Holy Spirit led Jesus into the wilderness... And he was tempted and he, he was tested and he was tried. Sometimes the Holy Spirit doesn't always lead us in, into the easiest, easiest path, path available. Mm -hmm. He leads us to a path he knows we need to go to get where he wants us to be. Mm -hmm. And he knew, the Heavenly Father knew Jesus had a calling and Jesus had a destiny. And he, had, he was going to be sacrificed for our sins but he still had things to do here on earth and he had to be prepared he had to be battle ready and so the holy spirit led jesus into the wilderness and he was tested 40 days and 40 nights sometimes we're not we're not led because i tell you every every sunday i said listen and do and it doesn't always apply for offering it applies to life 
do what Jesus tells you to do, be led and listen to his voice and do what he tells you to do, but sometimes he doesn't always lead us in the easiest path That's true. possible. Mm -hmm. Usually, oh, sometimes in life, for me, the things I don't want to do, the things I don't want to do or people I don't want to deal with, he says, yeah, go help that person. Go, yeah, your answer lies over there. You need to do this, this, and this. I'm like, oh. And then I do it, and I go in that path that I didn't want to go, or not the easiest path available, because in those paths, I have to confront my emotions, or how I feel, or confront how me, and maybe some things that shouldn't be there, and need to get, get gone immediately, and the only way that happens is if I'm, and sometimes under pressure, because if everything's good, I'm not, I'm kind of oblivious to what's going on, to maybe what I need to do but if there's a little bit of pressure the Holy Spirit leads me in a in a path that's uh, not so easy pressure mounts I, I'm aware of some things and the Holy Spirit starts moving I become growing and then I'm ready for the next chapter of my life and that's the same way with you mm -hmm. so take glory in the in uh, I mean the Bible says, count on all joy. It doesn't say give thanks because you, you got it, but count on all joy when you're going through these things, whatever you're going through today. Because when you see, <laughs> when the pressure's on, it's going to drive out some of the things that are that don't need to be there anymore so you can be prepared for the next chapter of your life. Are you ready to be prepared and ready mm -hmm. for when the blessing, other blessings or the things that you're believing for come to pass? Yes, amen. You want to be ready. You want to be prepared, right? Right. First of all, it's knowing who you are, and I just said who you are. You're beloved, blessed, you're a favored by God. I gave you the whole spiel, right? Right, right. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. <laughs> so help me. God, I gave you the truth, who you are in Christ, that you have a choice. You don't have to live under. You can live over, and whatever you go go through you can grow through mm -hmm. amen? amen amen but you have to let your voice be known you can't let negativity and uh, passivity or you can't let all these things just settle in you you have to you have to change you have to get rid of bitterness you have to get rid of anger you have to get rid of the negative attitude you have to get rid of the negative speaking you can't speak negatively about and talking about your problems all the time and, and expect the blessings of God just to fall down on you like like uh, um, fruit off a fruit tree you can't just <laughs> oh it's just gonna fall out of the sky and God's just gonna stop and do do it no we have a part to play first of all we know who we are we're blessed we're anointed by God God is good he wants the best for us but then we realize we have a part to play I've conveyed to you that you are a child of God. You are more than a conqueror. And I will con continue to convey that. Because I want you to know who you are. I don't want you to be deceived or deceived by people who, you know, put you down. You start believing it. Or maybe the enemy puts you down and says certain things to you. And just keeps at you and at you and at you. I don't want you to believe those things. I want you to believe what God has to say about you. Again, you're more than a conqueror. You are a child of God. You're blessed. The, the anointing of the Holy Spirit is upon you and in you. Then you have a part to play. You can't just sit idly by and just believe, well, now I know who I am. But you have to vocalize it. The Bible says you overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of your testimony. And just like Jesus walked, the Bible says you're going to do works and greater works. But if you're going to do that and walk like Jesus walked, you're going to have to do what Jesus did and when he got baptized by John the Baptist he came out and the Holy Spirit led him into the wilderness and he had to defeat he had to uh, meet the devil on his own turf and he had to defeat him he had to go through it and what did he do we're, we're living this thing called life and <clears throat> and the Bible says that Satan is the god of this world the worldly system but thanks be to God we have the victory through Jesus to overcome anything that the devil throws at us mm -hmm. but he's gonna throw things at you like last year and the beginning of this year I said God's a good God he wants you blessed but you're this year you're, you are gonna have some challenges 
but you, I want to tell you today, you are well, uh, you're well up for this challenge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You may not want, you may have some butterflies, and you may have to get rid of some, some old old way of thinking or old way of how you did things. But if you'll do it, if you do what Jesus did, you can have and walk like Jesus walked. Amen? Mm -hmm. Because that's what he wants for you in these last days. Amen? Amen. He's looking for people that's filled with love, compassion, and mercy, but all ha all also has a fighting spirit in them that know doesn't know when to quit. You're, you're a people here that you don't quit. You don't give up. You keep moving forward, just like Jesus. And Jesus, he didn't quit. He didn't give up. He continued to move forward. And he said, I'm going to that cross because he saw you and me. And now we're here today. We're living, living this thing called life. And the enemy's coming against us. But he may come one way. He'll flee seven ways. Flee seven ways. And even when the enemy comes in a, like a flood, like a flood, what is it God says he'll do? He'll raise up a standard against him. Amen? Because you're a child of God. And as Jesus walked, <coughs> he's calling us to walk also. What is he calling us to do? He's calling us to have his word. Jesus was led by the Holy Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And after he'd gone without food for many days and 40 nights, he became hungry. And the tempter came to him and said to him, If thou, you are the Son of God, command that these stones become bread. But Jesus replied, It is written, and forever remains written, Man shall not be live by bread alone, but by every word that comes out of the mouth of God. Then the devil took him into the holy city and placed him on the pinnacle, the highest point of the temple. And he said, mocking to him, if you are the son of God, throw yourself down. For he, it is written, he will command his angels concerning you to serve, care for, protect, and watch over. And they will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against the stone. Jesus said to him, on the other hand, it is written and forever remains written. You shall not test the Lord your God again. The devil took him on the very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory, splendor, magnificence, and excellence of them. And he said to him, All these things I will give you if you fall down and worship me. Then Jesus said to him, Go away, Satan, for it is written and forever it remains written, You shall worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Then the devil left him, and angels came and ministered to him, bringing him food and serving him. Then the devil left him, and angels came to minister to him. Why? Because he went through a trial. He went to a he went through a test, but he passed the test. How did he pass the test? When he came up against the enemy, he said, "It is written." When sickness strikes your body, what are you going to do? Oh Jesus! I hope I have enough to pay for the doctor. Right? Do we ever wonder that? I I know I do. We all nothing wrong with going to the doctor. But we can mix Jesus when tragedy hits or when uh, tests or when hard times hit, when things come unexpectedly, the first thing that's out of our mouth should be, it is written. I know this is happening in my life, but it is written. My God shall meet all my needs according to his riches. My God shall meet all my needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. When, when sickness hits your body, Go to, the doc go to the doctor. Get the help you need. But believe that the doctor will uh, have the remedy or the medicine to take care of it. And, and while you're at that, you, you, you declare, it is written. It is written. I know, God, I'm not, I'm not going out with a whimper. I'm, I, I'm, I'm going out with my voice raised high, declaring the promises of God. Because whatever happens, if I'm missing something, in the end, I win. No matter what. But while I'm living, while I'm here, I might as well give it the best shot I'll, I can, just like Jesus did. <clears throat> but he was sinless and perfect in every way. I'm trying to match up, but I'm falling short. <laughs> yeah, good but mean, yeah, meanwhile, I'm saying, it is written, uh, yeah. by your stripes I'm healed. You meet all my needs. What? Because some of the things that hit us are physically or materially, or spiritually, maybe we're, we're discouraged, we're depressed, we're downhearted. I think we all have an apple out of that cart once in a while, right? Mm -hmm. But we don't have to go down with a whimper. We don't have to go down without a fight. We, 
we can constantly declare and when the enemy hits us with negative thoughts and negative negativity or discouragement we can we can declare that the joy of the Lord is my strength the anointing of the Holy Spirit is in me I have the fruit of the Spirit you overcome by the blood you overcome by the blood of lamb and the word of your testimony because God put it on a simple plane it's not about all the works you do or your religious or your religious rituals or the things how you did it's about a relationship you have a connection with God you can defeat the enemy you can defeat the things in your life the things in your life that want to bring you down you can overcome because he's already overcome for you yes amen and he abides in you amen that anointing that anointing that the bible says that anointing the spirit of god that anointing that breaks every yoke that anointing that breaks every chain that anointing that breaks every every thing that would try to hold you in bondage you have the power it's in you but you have to declare you have to work with god and declare just like jesus did it is written when the enemy comes against you this week tries to make you feel less than remember the word the bible remember this this sermon when he the enemy comes in say you're less than no because sometimes thoughts come i have to so nicole say what did you say <laughs> uh, i wasn't talking to you i was the enemy put a thought in my mind. I was just like, no, uh-uh. <laughs> I'm victorious. I'm an overcomer. I am blessed. And the, am I going to get it because I'm like uh, uh, like a little puppet that just, just says it ritualistically? No, it's because it's in my heart. I believe it. And I'm, I'm going, I, sometimes I go through a struggle and it's a fight, just like Jesus, like at the Garden of Gethsemane, he, he was tempted, he was tried, and it, was, it had a hold of him, and he, he said, Father, not my will, but yours be done. That's right. I want to be obedient. But he was going, he was under pressure. When he was 40 days and 40 nights, he was under pressure. It says after 40 days and 40 nights that the angels came to minister to him. Why did they have to come and minister to him? Because he was having a struggle. And what do we have sometimes? We have a struggle. But again, we are well able to uh, move through it and overcome it through Jesus. Amen. 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 We declare. Say, I declare. I declare. I declare. The, promises the promises of God are mine. Are mine. I'm a child of God. I'm a child of God. I will not quit. I will not quit. When the enemy comes in, the enemy comes in, I will declare the promises of God. I will declare the promises of God. I get a little bit happy here. He is faithful. <laughs> he is faithful. He's ever true. He is ever true. He will not fail me. He will not fail me. I'm a. I'm gonna say it again. I'm a child of God. I'm a child of God. I am victorious. I am victorious. And what is facing me now? I will overcome through your power, through your, power, through your anointing. Through your anointing. Thank, you, Thank you, Jesus. I'm blessed. I'm healed. I'm delivered. I'm made whole. And above all else, I'm saved. I know you. And I'm on my way to heaven. But not right now. It's going to be a while. Thank you, Father, for each person here today. I thank you for ministering and moving in a mighty way. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You cannot be stopped. You cannot be contained. Your, your kingdom come. Your will be done, Father. And I thank you. Nothing will stop it. No, nothing will stop the word. Nothing will stop the good news. I thank you for your love and compassion that this flows from each person here to, here today and the people that hear this video thank you for your love and compassion that this flows from this church and reaches multitudes and multitudes of people thank you for family and friends coming to know you in a personal way thank you for that anointing that anointing that breaks every yoke every chain and i declare it today and thank you for it in jesus name and everyone said amen amen, amen. Can I share? Yes. There's a, there's a song that says, um, 
of my best days, I'm a child of God, and on my worst days, I'm a child of God. Yeah. And that just, as you were pre you were talking, I thought, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who was that by? Cain. Cain. I'm gonna listen to that today. Because it says, if you have breath in your lungs, air in your lungs, and blood in your body, you're still a child of God. Yes. Amen. We are children of God. Amen. Amen.